Hi folks, my name is Umkar Jagdai. I'm coming at you from Detroit, Michigan. Today I'm going to talk to you about civil engineering salaries in USA, how much income you should be expecting once you graduate from your master's degree, how much income my friends are making, how much income I'm making. Um, so I'm going to share you these numbers. Uh, but before we get started, I would really appreciate if you can give me a thumbs up to the video. It allows me to reach out to more people just like you. Thank you very much. So let's get started. So imagine this, you recently graduated, you're going into, you started interviewing. Um, now you want to know how much salary you should be asking in these interviews. Um, usually from my experience uh, in interviews, they have so far from my experience, I've never been asked how much I want to make. Usually that happens at five, 10 years of experience, but you never know. They may ask you that question and you want to be prepared for that. So let's talk about it. So usually, uh, before you, before I talk about how much graduates make, let's talk about how much interns make because I'm sure a lot of um, you folks who are doing your masters, um, you might want to do an internship, you may go through an internship. Usually, from my experience, interns will make about 15 to 22 dollars an hour. Now, 15 if you're working for a city, usually cities will pay a little bit less money. If you're working for a private company, you'll make maybe about 18 to 22 dollars. In some cases, I have friends who have even made 25 dollars per hour in their internship. Uh, that's a lot of money. <clears throat> so, so, how about your first job right out of like graduation? In my opinion, I graduated in 2016 and around that time I was making about $50,000 per year. Things haven't changed much folks since then. I have a couple of friends who graduated in 2018 and 2020 and both of them were making about fifty-two dollars to $55,000 right out of graduation. And they had master's degrees unlike me, which I had a bachelor's degree. So from my experience usually masters and bachelors don't have much difference in their salary ranges um, it really depends upon kind of the company you're going into and also depends a little bit upon which state you come from okay so um, there are a couple of states like california and new york which kind of skew the numbers so i'm not going to talk to you about that um, initially i'm just going to talk about average numbers and what are the average salaries for average people so if you're one of those high caliber individuals who are performing really well, uh, we'll talk about you later. But for now, I would say a fifty-five to $60,000 salary as an entry level engineer is a great place to be at. Okay, if you're making 65, 68, 70, um, good for you. You're, you're basically two, three, four, five years ahead of your peers. Now, understand one thing folks, smaller the company, smaller the income bigger the company, bigger the income. So for example, my second job was as a design engineer. I was working at a small company in Ann, Ar in Ann Arbor, Michigan. There were about 10 people. I was making about $54,000 a year. This was in 2017. Now, similarly, I had a friend of mine who recently graduated and they're working at my company, as a matter of fact, and they have a salary range of about $74,000. Now, that's a $20,000 difference. Obviously, I was working at a small company that was three years back, but still you can understand how much is the difference between a big company and a small company. So here's the thing, folks, you don't know which company you're going to find job at when you graduate. You have to apply everywhere. Yes, aim for a bigger company, but you never know. From my personal experience, I loved working at a small company because I, I collected my experience. I got a chance to work really, really hard. I got an understanding of different things in the company. And when I moved into a bigger company, I think it added a lot of value to me. So let's say now you, you've been making $60,000. Uh, you have built up a three to four years of experience. Usually, <clears throat> if I talk about raises in America, usually you make about three to four percent raise every single year and average raise is about 2.5 to 3.5 so i would say if you do that let's say you get an average raise every single year <clears throat> by the time you are about three to four years of experience it's time for you to take your pe exam uh, pe exam is professional engineering license um usually when you complete this exam you you'll get a four to five thousand dollar raise and uh, sometimes even a bonus now Let's say by the time you have four years of experience, you're about sixty-eight dollars to $70,000 and another $5,000 bonus with your three to $4,000 with your P license, I think you should be about seventy-two dollars to $75,000 by the time you have about three to four years of experience. So I think that's a great place to be. 
Now, from my personal experience, I have friends who are making about 80, 85 with a P license. They're working in a bigger company. And I have friends at a smaller company who are making about 67 to 70, even with a P license because they work at a small company. So I would say an average would be at 75. So <clears throat> if you have P license, you're making $75,000, excellent. Um, now that includes states like Michigan, where I'm from, Georgia, Tampa, Florida. Um, I have friends at Tampa, Florida. I have friends at uh, Miami. I have friends at uh, Texas, Dallas, Texas. So these locations, I kind of know the numbers for Atlanta, Georgia. So these be these places are really popular for civil engineers. So <clears throat> I would say, you know, if you're making 75 with a P license, great income. Now let's move on to about eight to 10 years of experience. So let's say you're in the field for about eight to 10 years. You're a senior engineer, even a project manager at this point of time. I think by this time, you'll usually make about $90,000. Now, again, this is an average number I'm throwing out from my experience. I have friends who are making about 95 in that field and I also have friends who are at small companies who are making about 82 to 85. So I would say a $90,000 is a great average for about eight to 10 years of experience. And that's what you should be expecting. <clears throat> Understand one thing, folks. Once you get into project management, the game entirely changes for you because you may have friends who are working in IT, who are maybe working on computer science. Um, they may never get a chance to get into project management because of the kind of work they are doing. With civil engineering, the path is usually to project management because the amount of experience you have, you'll have younger junior engineers coming into work who you will be leading eventually. So that's kind of the path. Now, if you don't want to get into that, they, you may get stuck at your salaries, you know, because after 90, you get your 2.53% raises every single year. It doesn't add a lot of like, you can't get those jumps unless you change jobs. I'll talk about that a little bit later. So let's say you get into a project management field, you're managing people. This is where you can make that six figure income, which you want to make like your computer engineer peers. So I would say, you know, about eight to 10 years of experience, you should be expecting about 90 uh, with an experience of about, sorry, uh, with an experience of about, I think, 10, 15 years, you may be even a vice president at your company, you may be even managing the entire civil engineering department or the geotechnical department or structures department, depending upon what department you work in, if you're managing that, you have a chance to make bigger incomes. Now, let's talk about California and New York. Now, I have friends uh, I talked to and who are working in the industry they told me that their incomes in Los Angeles area is about seventy-five dollars to $80,000 as a starting salary. So an entry-level engineer in that area is making a little bit more compared to what an average salary in Michigan is. So in New York, as a matter of fact, for some reason, I have not found people who are making very high incomes compared to like, like California. So I would say the average salary is about sixty-five dollars uh, for an entry-level for some reason new york new jersey area doesn't pay as much as the california area now if you are from that area and you're making a little bit more money uh, maybe you can put that in the comments and you can tell us about what's happening there but so from my experience that's what's happening so <clears throat> let me talk about what's happening with the other industries okay so if you understand computer science and mechanical engineering um, I work in Detroit metro area, so mechanical engineering salaries here are about, if you graduate from a master's in mechanical, usually they make about seventy-five dollars to $80,000. Now that is because Detroit is an automotive industry and those people are paid much higher than us. So when I graduated as a civil engineer, I had a lot of my friends who graduated with a master's degree and they were making seventy-five, dollars to $80,000. Now understand one thing folks. So you may be thinking man did i do a wrong degree did i do this did i do it wrong in my opinion don't worry about it the p exam and the p license with experience is a great equalizer for you to get to that 100k within seven eight years so if you're doing things right you should be able to do that also understand one thing once you have three four years of experience it's a great idea for you to move your company you know whenever you change jobs usually you can expect a five to ten thousand dollar raise so a lot of people do that and not only that it looks it's good for your resume to work at different firms it's good for your resume so that you can get different experience you can find out what your passion is what you like and what kind of work you want to be doing eventually so 
I think that's pretty much what I have about civil engineering here. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section. Uh, if you want to connect with me and ask questions to me personally, you can connect to me on Instagram at Omkar A. Jagdare. Um, that's my Instagram handle. But um, I think that's pretty much it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye. Have a good one.